noticed the tractor was revving up and revving down really weird. And it was also dying, like it would run for a little while and die. And my hunch is the air intake that's in the carburetor and the gas and the fuel pump, that kind of area, is not properly mixing the fuel. So it's causing the governor to go up and down and up and down because it doesn't have a proper fuel mixture. So where I'm gonna look is the carburetor and the fuel line. So I noticed a couple things with it. The first thing was the fuel pump filter was clogged. I gotta get the gas line filter clean. Sometimes we run out of gas. Which kind of makes sense because we ran it out of fuel and well, that usually clogs it. Um, and when we run out of gas, it sucks up stuff into the fuel filter. So this is the tricky part. We have to undo this and then we have to immediately clog the gas line else gas just pours out. Okay, and now that's clogged. And you didn't clean it right here? Well, what I'm gonna do Blow. Do not suck. <laughs> okay. okay. Is that it? That's that's cleaning it. it? Out, yeah. Now it just goes right back in. Simple, but yet it works. Now that is the carburetor. Yeah, this is the carburetor. You know what I noticed? The pipe that goes on this end of it, which is the air intake, was not even on. You could see where it was setting bunched up in there. So I'll get a new tube for that too. It's just flooding it, and so gas is just dripping out of here. Right now it just floods it. There's a float in here. It fits in here like this and it goes down and it goes up and then it sticks this little pin here like this and it sticks it up into a hole up here and it presses down to shut it off and then opens it up to let fuel in. I want it to press this needle up a little harder. I think I can just take this, bend it a little up. You know, I don't want to go too much, but that should, in theory, push that needle up a little harder. Hopefully shut the fuel off. I wanted to get it off in one piece so I can just easily trace it and you get a gas good. I love how clunky all these stuff is because it's older, which is kind of nice to work with. Old radiator hose from a truck needed a new one of these and now I have one. Same size. Hard to put this thing back on, huh? Cleaned up the entire carburetor and put it all back together, put new gaskets in there and stuff. This is where you make all the funny faces because you're trying to fit your fingers in weird areas. Got it. Hopefully that will fix it. We'll see. This thing to fire up. Running really good. It does not doing that weird pulsing thing it used to do. As this was a tractor that was made in the 70s, I'm relatively certain there will be continued repairs that will be going on with this thing. But for now, it's running good. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description.